I'm going to fall into it with all I have. With a little uh, KRS-One getting it done. Give me a little truth to go with me. Mr. Glasses, the truth is the truth, period. Fuck all the bullshit. My other channel is why you do what you do. If you don't know the reason why you do what you do, you're stupid. Oh, yes, we get mad at the donkey with it. Because we got to live there and let y'all get it. Because the truth is just that, the truth. And I'm coming full out with it for you to know it's the truth. Let's go with this KRS-1 and start it off. You can't look at a culture and say, I know what it is, or to be more accurate. You can't eat a slice of pizza, then say, I'm an expert on Italian culture. <laughs> or most people say, well, because I had a plate of spaghetti and meatballs, I can tell you about Italy. See, and for me to stop it and talk with it, I'm hoping that this will be the reason why they won't ban my shit or mute my shit for some copyrights. Bullshit is what they've been doing about letting the truth come out. I'm going to put this on my Facebook page, KRS1, doing his thing. Because I know that this is something y'all need to hear for yourself. Because this is what I know, what he's talking about. I know what that really is. I know the creativity which is in me and you at the exact same time. Because I know that all that there is inside of all that lives, meaning all that has been created and will be created after we destroy all that we already created, the creator will create elsewhere even after we're gone. Because the creator is all that there is in you to know this. Not to be believed in some bullshit outside you like God in the sky that was taught to you like Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy. It's too many fucking lies now that you can lay up there and realize that the truth is the truth. And it's in you to stand on it and not be afraid of telling it. KRS One has been, 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 been talking about this, but he still don't know what the truth to what the Creator within each and every one of us really is. I do know, but KRS. That part of the truth. Because the creator is in each and every one of you. And me knowing you are really me, technically speaking. It's all about what's in your heart. Because I say again, the heart is the only part of us that's smart. It'll never lie to you. It'll never fool you like your eyes do, like your ears do. Like your mouth do. Because your heart is smart. Your heart is always going to pump the blood throughout the body. It'll never suck it. And that is the truth root no matter what in this. This is what is happening with hip hop. This is what happened with scholarship, period. But this was happening with hip hop's particular scholarship. People who are not the culture are teaching you the culture. This is the beginning of what needs to stop. Last night, the KRS one one. How many y'all got criminal mind? You, 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 y'all don't be blind with me. I got no jewels on my neck. Why? I don't need them. I got you. What makes you a hip hop scholar? I am hip hop. Now, I've read 10 books. I've been to the concert. 
I rapped in the studio. I, no! You are in itself first. Get the feeling. Get the feeling first. What makes you a hip hop star? I am the culture. That's it. Now, now that I am the culture, there's no external knowledge for me to go get. I'm the knowledge. I'm it. When I lift my arm, that's what hip hop does. If I walk over here and stand over here, this is where hip hop has just stood. If I leave this table and I have a chair and come over here, uh, hip hop just left from here. This is now also hip hop history. I just created it. This is recording me. Everything's recording right now. I mean, not a camera door. History is being made right now. Oh, man, this is human education against life. You better know the flavor, kid. Human education against lies. Tries to open the eyes of humanity before it dies. Black and white ain't the real fight. That's the only thing the media hype. One day come around, Monday morning said, I am hip hop on Sunday. Monday come around, I'm not hip hop no more. What are you now? I'm an employee for Mr. Charlie. I work in CCC fabrics and I work here. What do you mean I? And you just said I was hip hop. You said I am hip hop. Now, Monday come and that same I it's now something else. The second part to being a hip hop scholar is to be hip hop all the time. <laughs> Just give me a moment to think. You got to take these in. You got to take them in. You're hip hop all the time. 24 hours, 7 days a week. You are hip hop. And that's how I do it. That's all. I have fun with it myself. But I'm privileged to have fun with it. It wasn't no fun thing to begin In the early days, before the celebrity and the hot records and up now, back in the 70s, when we said, I'm hip hop, and the cops was like, No, you're not. Hip hop, you're not. Let's go. We ran them with the boys in blue, pointing their guns at my four man crew. They shot down one, they shot down two. Now tell me what the fuck. Time. I am hip hop and I'm hip hop all the time. So many people went to jail just on that attitude. So many people got beat, hurt, you know, unjustly accused, inconvenienced in the court and the legal system just because they said, I'm going to be hip hop right now. I know nobody else here is, but I'm going to be this right now. What a hard thing to do. And anybody who does that is a true hip hop star. Anybody who can claim in their history that there was a time when hip hop was not popular and I was rapping it to the fullest before it was popular. That is a hip hop scholar. Not just an artist or a dancer or something. He's a great too. I'm not a little dance and art either. But Scholarship is a little more than celebrity or your talent, skill. It's about how you think. It's about how you're going to approach you. How do you approach you? Do you have the courage to even be you? This is what it means to be a hip-hop scholar all the time. Well, you got to have courage to be a hip-hop scholar all the time. Mr. Charlie's looking for his work. <laughs> you don't have the work because you was out DJing until 4 in the morning, and you had to be at work at 8.30. <laughs> now you're there, you don't have what Mr. Charlie needs. Do so you stand up at that moment and say, I am hip-hop. That's why I'm incomplete. <laughs> or do you say, Oh, Mr. Charlie, I'll have that paper written before lunchtime. Don't worry about it. Please, Mr. Charlie, don't. Don't. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Charlie. No. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's right to destroy. We should be living in a national joy. But all these laws are so hypocritical. You follow one, and the other one is dissing you. 
So what do you do to keep in line? I tell you right now, it's an educated mind because I'm up to date. I'm up to date. Public education doesn't inspire me because it's not meant to. It's meant to despise. Really, public education is for you to respond reflexively to authority. That's it. That's the purpose of public education. Just summed up 12 years for you right there. Public education, when I say jump, you say how oh, oh. oh, high. That's it. Nothing about your culture. Nothing about the cultures you see every day in society. Nothing about law, medicine. And nothing, nothing about and These things are more important for you to know than any historical figure of your country. You know, there's no reason to know the history of your country. I know that sounds crazy. I told y'all something <laughs> This is where it starts right here. What do you need to know the history of your country for? There's no reason. You are the history of your country. Modern day history right now. Your grandmother can tell you more about your country than any book written ever. This is who you should be talking to. This is who you should be getting your knowledge from. Knowing about this guy who made it this, and this is the king of that, and the queen of this, and this is useless information. Useless. And your brain is shoved with this, stuck with this, for 15, 20 years. After a while, you don't know who you are. You think you're Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> And this is what is called insanity. <laughs> this is insanity, but it's called sanity. Because if you can quote the history of the Dutch, for instance, <laughs> you're considered insane, civil, civil, educated. But what you're actually studying is useless. <laughs> useless. Now, I say this. I, I say this respectfully. I gotta say this respectfully. Okay? To what? Of course, you need to know Dutch history. Let me say that for the record as well. <laughs> we all should know something about the lands in which we live. My point is. You know, it's one thing for a cartel to build an army over the border. It's another thing to raise one in our backyard. These guys have been stockpiling arms in an old mine. Don't know quite what they're up to, but take them out for me and take the supplies for yourself. You need a reason and a right to stand on for you to be you. That's where they're popping. Everybody's bad, everybody's tough, but how many people are intelligent enough to open up their eyes and see through the lies, discipline themselves, yourself to stay alive? Not many. That's why the universe sent me today on this stage with this to say. Every urban area on the planet Earth is governed by hip hop. Is it? Go to any Hello, urban you're through to Meriwether Security Consulting. The what can I do for you? I will direct one of our pilots to your current location. <laughs> what the people are listening to, what the people are trusting each other with, is hip hop. Doesn't matter what race, ethnicity, age, class, doesn't matter. You go to India, they have a caste system. At least the Hindus have a caste system. All the castes are into hip hop. <laughs> Pakistan, hip hop. Muslim. Hip -hop. Incoming. Christian, Get clear of the landing hip -hop. zone. Jews, hip hop. There's a group called Dom, D A M. That has an Israeli DJ, DJ for Palestinian MC. Their country hates them. They can't even leave. Where are we going? They got this stuff. They, they got to report what happens to outreach in, in somewhere. <laughs> they, you know, the Palestinian land, and then try to send it over to the Israeli side to finish it up. This is what hip hop okay. is doing in an area where the adults can see the kids. The adults are talking about who the Israeli is and Palestinian and Palestinians don't want these. The Israelis don't want these. This one don't want. But the kids already got together, already figured it out. It's called hip hop, and here's what we do. Sing, 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 sing. So my man chunked up, and, and this is it. We already figured it out. Every uh -oh. urban environment you can go to on the planet Earth, what the people are trusting. Is hip hop. 
You don't need to be guessing. You don't need to be stressing. The Obama deception was just one lesson. The military got all kind of weapons, and most of them are aimed at us from different directions. You look at it the same look. You protesting their guns, but you're using their Facebook. You don't get it yet? The American military captured the world with an internet. They don't need the, the facade, though. I was just talking about uh, how yeah, because they live there in the Air Force, the one that created that bullshit in it, where you can live there and get any fucking thing you want off of that motherfucker. That's the bullshit. The euro that's collapsed is done all over the American dollar. Done! But because we're all walking around with past knowledge, this is the only reason these people are still in power, is because we believe. <laughs> the only reason these people are in power is because we believe it. I mean, have you ever asked yourself, how does one person get a whole army to go fight? <laughs> you ever ask yourself, you know, how, do you, how does one guy sitting behind a desk going, we're going to go to war? Man, this guy never goes to war. <laughs> the one playing in war, going to be the first one on the horse leading the way. Never. We're going to war. Who goes to war? That's who goes to war. You look at any of these, look at your army, look at the U.S. army, look at the U.N. army. Everyone in it, young folks, blasting hip hop. I wanted to be a stuntman, but I failed the exam. Hip hop, hip hop, and what's happening? We get that mindset. They didn't want to be in the war. You ask anybody of my Iraqi soldiers from anybody's country. You're an idiot! You None of them are going to say, because I just want to kill Iraqis. None of them are going to say that. They're going to say, yo, I was trying to go to college. I was trying to send money back to my kid. I thought I could get a skill to it. All of a sudden, I'm in this mountain with a gun. The soldiers are not there fighting for some cause. They're trapped. They signed a bad contract, and now they out there. That's the truth. But we're not getting the truth because we're afraid of the truth. Because to even see the truth, you have to be your true self. You can't even see the truth unless you're true. But if you're not going to be true to yourself, then to see the truth is impossible. You have to be true to see the truth. What makes you a hip hop You need star? something, huh? One of your rides? What Let me know. What makes you a hip hop scholar is the fact that you can be hip hop all the time. All the time. You can be it all the time. And that means you're going to lose your job. That means you might have a different relationship with your family. Maybe. I'll get there as soon as I can. So I'll get back to it then. Yourself, the ones that love you stand with you. But as long as you was front, they was front. As long as you didn't know, they didn't know. But the minute you go, I know, you'd be surprised your family would be like, well, I know too. Yeah. Sometimes we just. Sometimes we judge too quickly. My pops will never be in the My moms don't understand that. You'd be surprised at your family. But you have the real courage because you may lose your family that not understand. You may lose that job. You may wind up in prison. What if an angel came? Angel came and you was praying. You said, I want to be the greatest DJ ever. I'm going to be the greatest DJ ever. And you prayed on. Then an angel appeared right there. Boom, right there. Here I am. What's your problem? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to be the greatest DJ ever. Then the angel says, Now look, you're going to be the greatest DJ ever. I want to show you how you're going to be. First, when you walk out of this house, you're going to shop for that. What?
and now you're left with a decision. If you knew that you was going to shut your leg and bring it to my car, but that was going to be what made you a star, celebrity, successful teacher, what would you still do? You're going to get shot in the leg. You know it. You're going to walk outside and a car is going to hit you. You know that. But in the end, you're going to get what you want. Would you still, would you go? This is the question that you got to ask yourself. So, because most people, it doesn't matter. This is not a right or wrong. There's no morality to this. This is an issue of character. Character. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, I'll take that shot to the left. Okay. I don't want to get ran over by no car, but I will take the shot. I don't want the car. Uh, I don't want the, the, the car, but I will take the shot. The reason I bring this out is because this is why many people don't make it. They don't make it because they know they're going to get shot in the leg and ran on the car. So they say, well, I can't even see my success. That ain't going to happen for me. So I'll just stay here with Mr. Chong because I don't want that shot in the leg. I don't want to get ran on the car. Okay, Mr. Chong, what do you do? <laughs> this is how we're living every day, just like this. The minute you say, I'm going to get rich or I'm going to die trying. I'm going to get rich or I'm going to die trying. I'm going to get where I'm going to go. I'm going to be dead in the street. Once you get that attitude, people didn't like how big this is. So let me give you somebody else this wall. No, uh, give me liberty or give me death. Get rich or die trying. I'm going to die on my principles. All this is the same thing. If you're afraid of pain and suffering, you'll never be anything. You'll never be anything. Most people today, 99% to be exact, don't want no pain in their life, don't want no suffering in their life. So they don't get what comes after that. We all look at the celebrity, and the celebrity says, you know, he's celebrity, or she's celebrity. But well, just before you say, I'd like to be like that, first get there, get by heart. I guarantee you be anybody that you admire, anybody that you say, I would like to have my life like that. I would like to arrive at that level of success for myself. Leave any of their stories. You are not going to want to go through what they went through to get. Leave any of the stories. Well, first thing, my mother died. I was close to my mother. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to sacrifice your mom for your career? And I'm going to sacrifice her. The angel comes and says, yo, mom has to die for you. And you go away to the room. Next time. Okay. Yes, for you to be a DJ, your mother has to know. And your mom's the only one here with you, the only one holding you down. This is what it is. She got to go to you to be a DJ. What you do? Most people say, hell, I'll sit here, mom's just staying with me. That's why nobody's me. If you're prepared for your mother to go, your children, be a celebrity. If Fuck you're prepared to give up that job, give up that whatever you believe is the authority and make yourself the authority, then if you're willing to believe in yourself, the courage of that is that you may have to lose everything around you. in physical space. But hip hop is an idea. You can't wear it. You can't put it on. You can't buy a plan of it. You can't drink something and suddenly become hip hop. Well, I bring this into the book that says hip hop scholarship because the study of hip hop is not only inspiring, but it's transforming. It's self transforming. This is culture. So when you're studying culture, you yourself are changing. 
your parents might not understand your, 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 your friends, your students, your family employees, they may not understand you because you're studying something different from what they're studying. So the last part to this discussion of being a hip-hop scholar, the last piece to this, one of the things that even come before coming is love. If you love the hip-hop, love will figure all. The angel come and said, to be a DJ, your pops is going to have to go to jail for 20 years. You walk without falling, you have to pay no place for the issue. But if you look at the moment you get the same asylum, the father will be gone for 20 years. But you will become that DJ you want to be. Now you got to sit back and say, do I love this? Do I love this one of my heart? I love this one more day. Brother, my dad more than this. This is my heart. This is my heart. This is my heart. This is my heart. Because the study of hip hop will show you that you love your brother more than your father. The study of hip hop will show you that you love hip hop more than your mom. The study of hip hop will show you you never needed that job. That's good. Or, you do need that job. That's good. But the study of hip hop is going to bring the real you up. The real you is going to have to answer some real questions that deal with the nature of your soul. Not whether you can rap. Rap is, that's the effect. We'll get to that later. We're talking hip hop for real. Before we even was able to rap, we had to answer these questions first. The angel came. Hip hop, you guys would be the greatest ever, but Tupac, Biggie, Scott, LeBron, Brielle, Big Five, Hey, you all gotta go. Then the angel came to us in 87 and said, listen, KRS, you'll be the greatest MC ever. <laughs> <laughs> but Scott the Rock got it down. I don't know what I would have said. I'm just bringing that show the harshness of question. <laughs> I don't know what I, I probably would not be here right now. If the angel came right now, or then, in 87, and said, look, this guy right here, he gonna get shot and killed. But his death is gonna propel you up the bit. What you going to do? If the angel came to me, I wouldn't be KRS because there's no way I'm going to put another band like that. Like no. My principles won't allow it, so there'll be no KRS. That's it. Just that quick, just that simple, just that, just, just like that. And this is the part to the scholarship right here. Don't think about the stars that you do see. Think about the ones that you don't see. The decisions that they had to make it said, no, I'm not giving up my, my people. I'll see. I'm the greatest MC, but no one will ever know because I refuse to work for MTV. I refuse to give my video to BET. I refuse to be on this sellout radio station. So now you're not her. Now you're not her. You're, you're not her. While the person who says, but wait, Master Charlie. I'll do it! <laughs> Wait, that's Charlie. I'll dance for you. <laughs> so here comes the scholarship. First, you gotta change your consciousness. How are you looking at hip hop? How am I looking at it? Am I looking at it through the eyes of MTV? Or am I looking at it through its own eyes, which is me? I'm looking at it as me. I'm, I'm looking at the mirror, basically. I'm looking at the mirror. Or am I looking through MTV's eyes? Now, here's the, here's, we already know the difference in that. But here's the scholarship on it, which is important. Who, if you're trained by a murder, chances are someone who can really know. You may not know. But if you're trained by a murder, 
Even the murder technique. Even if you're studying math, the murder is teaching math. You're going to learn how to kill them, don't you? Don't have a If you're studying the murder, you're going to learn how to a deceitful person. You're going to learn how to bend the back. So. Even if you study chef, you study culinary arts, or you're a chef, but you're studying under a lie, someone who themselves is a deceiver. You watch the person lying all the time, but this person's going to teach you how to cook. So they teach you how to cook with a lie. Oh, this is not really salt. This is <laughs> well, this is not really sugar, this is. <laughs> well, it smells like coffee, but it's really. <laughs> so you get these little techniques because the character of the person is basically what it is. Well, when it comes to scholarship, if you're trained by a colonizer and an invader, huh. everything you learn has the colonizer and the invader's way in you. Learn according to the character of your teacher. <laughs> Just get the information. You get the teacher's character too. Now, I mentioned this because this is that part of scholarship that many people can't go to because it's group. But I know you can handle it. Hey, so here it is. Oh, damn, did I say that evil word, all? Oh. I'm generalizing. It's something you never do in scholarship. <laughs> all, all of public education in the Western Hemisphere is a lot. All, 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 A L F, all, every, all. Okay, <laughs> all of it is a lot. The only solution is organized revolution. That's the only solution. People are afraid of that word revolution, so we like to use the word change. If you like change, you have to go out. There's two types of people in the world. People who will wait for the violence to stop, or people who want to stop the violence. I could say trained by a corporation or trained by a culture. In the book, it's Western education versus everyone else's model. Or, or Eurocentric education versus everyone else's model. We don't need those words. The more accurate word is cultural and corporate. This is the word, this is the better word to use. Because all Europeans, like for instance, all Dutch, all the Dutch did not enslave Africans. That's a lot. In fact, the first of Portuguese, they actually came from Portugal, the first Portuguese were actually just traded with Africans. It really had a robust trade going on for like 200 years. See, we're in 2013, so 200 years, like, oh, two days. No, 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 try to imagine what 200 years is like. Okay. The Portuguese, the Dutch, all these Europeans who are actually trading with them and doing good business. Good business. It's the Dutch, the Portuguese, the French, the English, and the Spanish that came after, like a hundred years after. 200 years after that started the history that we all know today. Europeans keep invading Europeans. This is European history, this landmass, this landmass that we are One guy rises up, and another one wants what he got, kills him, then someone else yep. wants what they got. Yep. This is European history. One yep. guy knocks That's the bullshit. Guy That's the bullshit. That's that race shit that you're, you're, you're everybody in. Saying, Racing, it always racing against each other. Over the riches coming in for that. Everybody want a dice of that. Everybody want a piece of that. Everybody want a piece. Now look at the history you're studying. Look at the nature of the teacher. The nature of the teacher that we're learning. Public education, corporate education. In vain. Colonize, set on places that are not good. And learn. Objective. Those are the natives. We are the whoever's. If, 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 if you want a better school system, then you can help quick. They'll just switch around, they'll cater to you. 
second and, and, and ask the question. I, I noticed that YouTube and they up there and got YouTube mixes. But YouTube wants to holler out copyrights to someone just having music in the background. It's 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 ironic how YouTube Good work. That's what these labs run on. When YouTube used to be the shit. Nah, it ain't nothing but shit. I'm just saying. Very much. What do you need to know of any American artist in your country? Just say. Just think about it. What do you need to know of chaos? You're in an entirely different country. You speak another language. You got the culture right here. You got hip hop on you right here. But for some reason, you need to know about chaos one. Public enemy. This, this American indoctrination. <laughs> Don't let America do hip hop take your mind. A true hip hop scholar is not interested in KRS One. A true hip hop scholar is interested in themselves. I am from here. This is where I'm from. I'm gonna talk Dutch. And I'm going to rap the Dutch. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you a Dutch version of cutting, mixing, and scratching and really try to bring it new. 
trying to get some, to some international song. The DMC, some of the other nations are around. They go, now watch the Dutch get that. This is how we do it. What honor are you bring to your people? What honor are you bring to yourself? And then others around the world get to look and be like, wow, that Dutch shit is hot. Yo, look how he breaks. Look how she's going with that. Look at them rhymes. Yo, I need to take that back with me. <laughs> Yo, look how the Dutch doing it. Yo, we need to go to Miami do that. Yo, look how the Dutch doing it. Yo, me here in Hong Kong, I could feel that. <laughs> but as long as we are all saying, well, Nicki Minaj did it that way, so that's the way I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, well, KRS, he did it this way, so that's the way I'm going to do it. Well, I recommend butter. Uh, what was good to me? No, 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 no. He got it wrong. Got it twisted. Sure. A uh, good study of KRS's history is fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should catch ourselves a copy of that history. <laughs> <laughs> but when we're talking scholarship, to know my history before you know yours. To know my history? Before you know your own history, you're going right back to the colonizers way of thinking. Hip hop don't need that. We don't speak in language. The lab thinks there's some mileage in breaking down a technical pickup with a minigun on the back. There's a high screw with the requisite. You've just got to get it off of them. I ain't got to speak Dutch. You ain't got to speak English. We ain't got to speak Korean. Grab this. Get on your back. Get that wall. I know exactly what you're saying that we can communicate. Yes, gather round, turn your TVs off. Back on the scene, it's me, masterful MC, and now you'll see. Hard men of rappers can't hang with me. Knowledge reigns supreme. If you don't know what that means, you must enter the temple, open your mental, learn the essentials, don't be afraid to dream. You don't want to bring your culture from somewhere else to this culture and say that you guys got to talk like me, dress like me, act like me, for me to understand you. That's the thinking of a colonizer. That's the thinking of someone who invades something and don't care about where they are. They don't try to blend in. They don't have no respect for where they are. They just want to exploit you. So if you just want to exploit used people, you get somebody to say, look, I'm not interested in learning Dutch. Just tell me what they're saying in English. <laughs> oh, well, then you're not even interested in the way you are. Now, there's a bunch of so-called rappers that come to the country and do just that. And this is the difference between hip-hop scholarship and every other scholarship that I can think of. I don't know anyone, any scholars that approach people the way hip-hop approaches people. We have a unique way of uniting with people. We don't just come and say, you got to be like me. We just come and say, what do you do? I'm a b-boy. Right there. So I know what you're doing. I know the dopeness of your group, and I know the whackness of your group. Where do you fit in? Not, um, what are you? You black. Uh, you white. Uh, you this, you that. That, that doesn't even exist in the Bible. I say it all the time. The only place that you see Dr. King, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the only place you see Dr. King's speech, the I Have a Dream speech, is in hip hop. Americans, all the Dr. King, ain't nowhere in America Dr. King dream is. Nowhere in the United States. And I will challenge the world on that too. Nowhere in the world do you see this part. Um, where my children uh, will one day grow up in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin or by the content of their character. That's nowhere on the world. No. The only place you see that actually happening, like actually going on culturally, is in hip hop. This is the only place in the world. See, this, you gotta understand these new facts. This is not my opinion. These, this, these are the facts. Nowhere in the world do you see Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech where you're not really judged by the color of your skin. You're judged by the content of your character. That's all hip hop. That's all hip hop. Now, everybody, Africans, Africans, Asians, Latinos, 
neighbor. You go to any race, any culture, any ethnicity, they all got problems with each other. And nobody looking at anybody based on the content of their character. No race. No. No. The only place on earth that you see a culture, world culture, people doing the same things wherever they are, and not judging people based on color, but based on the level of your skill in these elements. I was at the BBC a couple of years ago, not the BBC, sorry, uh, the BC One, Red Bulls BC One, uh, which is a branding competition they have every year. And I was amazed. I felt so good in that place. It was Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. But here, the B Boy competition, it was China, Australia, America, they have everybody there. And this dude from France, the dude they needed, choked up to everybody. Everybody is, and, and other, the other people just look like, yeah, yeah, that's hot, yeah, that was it. You know, give it a respect. Because he was truly the one that captured everybody's soul at that moment, in that, 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 that particular uh, competition. And I was judging, I was, I was hosting uh, that competition. But I got a chance to see hip hop in its, in its finer state through B Boy. Here you have every culture competing in one article. And it just so happened that this guy from France. What's the thing? What do you think? Africa was mad? Hell no, they were studying the moves. <laughs> you think China and Japan was mad? No, they came up, came for power to take a picture with the champion. And this was the spirit of it. Everybody was dope. Everybody was a master in what they did. To even get up on that stage, you had to be somebody. But it just happened to be legal from France to this is hip hop. This is what it really is. Throughout the years, a B-boy uh, became a Bye-bye <laughs> on another level uh, because the term B-boy uh, began to go to everybody uh, in the hip hop community that uh, <clears throat> felt as though that in order to maintain strength in the community, we had to show ourselves hardcore. And a lot of us, the half that was trying to survive got caught up in the bad way. What we've been talking about is hip hop scholarship. I just want to get out of the way. What is a hip hop scholar? How do you think as a hip hop scholar? First, you don't think like a college. You don't think like somebody who's invading cultures and then studying their objective. Any culture you enter, you try to become a culture. You're hip hop all the time. To be a hip hop scholar, you have the, the courage to be hip hop all the time. This is what you rep. It's like a doctor who finishes medical school, but because the society doesn't like medicine, then he says, "Well, I'm not a doctor anymore. I'll be wherever you need me." But you are a doctor all the time. You study medicine. You love medicine. You heal people. That's what you do. But oh, just imagine people. the society. As well, medicine is not it. It's only going to last three more years. And you a medical doctor, so somebody's sick on the side, and you just say, well, right now I'm lifting boxes for this truck. <laughs> Man, you hit over the head with a box. You a doctor. <laughs> just let him weep that. This chuck. That's what we're doing as the pop scholars with the RA. This is what we're doing. We see the injustice in society, but because we're working for Mr. Chung, we don't talk like hip hoppers in the university, at the job, on the radio, in front of the television, whatever it is. We're not talking like that. We're hip hop only when K arrest them. Or when Boo is at that concert. Or when so and so other. You can't call yourself a scholar because you're not. You're just, you're, you're a learner. You're someone who likes hip hop. 
But to be a scholar, expert of it, they're mad all the time. All the time. I have more coming on the ship because I'm 6'6 six, six in height. And the little white people on the ship, uh, old people. <laughs> Like, You're so tall, you're a basketball player. <laughs> I said, no, I'm with the FBI. <laughs> oh, yeah. I switch up titles all the time. I'm a cultural anthropologist. Oh, I'm a philosopher. Oh, I'm this. I come with all kinds of titles because they don't want to come off of this stereotype tall black man you got to play basketball. Though. You know. But rather than go into the list, why are you calling me that? Just, I'm comfortable with who I am. So you must be a basketball player. Yes, I am. And I'll dunk on you right now. Come on. Sometimes I'll be elbowing in the audience. Come on, let's go. Post up. Post it up. <laughs> but you find that you, 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 you dig into a person's heart when you don't assume right at the top. But it's racism. It's sexism. Classism. Ageism. Whatever it is. We have a tendency to meet with our emotions first. The scholarship is very emotional, but you've learned how to control your emotions. Not emotional less, because you'd be a dead person if you have no emotions, you have no soul if you have no emotion. No feeling for something incomplete or anything, you have no soul. You have no soul. But that same empathy that same connection with another person can get you in trouble. Compassion for the wrong people. Trust in the wrong people because your soul is full of love and compassion for all humanity. Everyone else is not. Oh, I can help you that that scholarship down. has to be quick and seized through quickly. What's real and what's bad? Quick. Let's go deep now into this. Hip hop. Now that you are a scholar on hip hop, meaning you are hip hop, you're not studying it objectively, you're not looking at hip hop and studying it. You are the culture itself. I am just one part of the culture speaking to the other part of the culture. If anybody was looking at us right now and didn't know this was hip hop, they could not tell you from me. We're all here together. This is one culture. Speaking to itself, sort of like a plan in me. I am not the exalted KRS one because I'm not above you at all. We talked about this a little earlier, I'll reiterate it right here. If you think for one minute that I am somehow better or more than you in hip hop, you fought the test right there. You're not being <laughs> if you think for one minute, what you must now begin to think is KRS is just the hip hop of it came before me. That's it. That's it. Not KRS and I'm who I am trying to be. I'm who I am trying to get to where KRS is. You're going to destroy KRS. Because I am hoping and relying on someone younger than me to do what I did better, better. Show me something I've never seen before. Don't show me me. I don't want to see me. I got enough of me. I want to see you. I want to see hip hop in other forms. And this is what we always wanted to see, hip hop. Imagine if, when I've been on the South Bronx, if I waited, and say, well, this doesn't sound like the Prime Master Flash from Melvin Mel did. So I'm just going to take my career and play it in the toilet. Like, oh, I came out, I shouted the answers. Way back in the days when hip hop began with Coke Little Rock, Cool Herc, and then Bam. B Boys ran to the latest jam. When they got shot up, they went home and said, Bam! This is the history. I shouted the ancestors first. On the other side of town was a kid named Flash. Patterson and Millbrook projects. Casanova's all over. You couldn't stop it. I'm shouting out for people in my neighborhood. Before I come out, I'm shouting the ancestors first. 
that I came out. That's when I came out. I had the respect from day one. The minute that record came out, everybody that I mentioned in the record was like, yo, you got it, man. Yo, you got it. Man. Yo, yo, yo. And why? Because this is an ancient technique I'm going to tell you about. Anytime you shout out your ancestors, you are more than the person that did. Hip-hop is outside of space and time. 
is no time to walk and there's no space for it. Hip hop never ended for 50 years old. You can't go to hip hop. You can't wear hip hop. You can't use hip hop. Um, hip hop doesn't exist as a physical thing. Hip hop, its actual existence is as a shared idea. We all share this idea called hip hop. So the first thing that hip hop is, is a conscious. It is our conscious desire. It's all of our thinking together, creating this existence of the This hip hop is this hip hop in action. When consciousness, our collective consciousness, starts moving and acting and doing stuff, we become different. We just call this hip hop breaking and seeing the feedback, the DJing, beatboxing, street fashion, street language, street knowledge, and street entrepreneurs. These are the nine elements of hip hop. Now, in the beginning, there was first only four elements to hip hop, which was just these four here. Breaking and seeing the PDR DJ. That was the beginning of what we call the core four elements. This is the beginning with Cool Herc, with the era of Cool Herc. Puts it this way, Breaking and seeing the PDR DJ. That school used to come around and listen to Cool Herc, who was considered the father of hip hop because he was the first one who was a B-boy, MC, a beat writer, and a DJ all at the same time. And we knew her as that in the neighborhood. He also had the biggest sound system in, uh, in the Bronx at the time. So, Paul Herc, and I'll get into his Jamaican background, but Paul Herc is the first B-boy, MC, a beat writer, DJ, all at the same time. Now remember, Breaking, already existed like 10 years before the company began. And see, it goes back to the beginnings of human history. You're feeding right to the beginnings of human history. DJ was already, and the DJ that means D-E-E-J-A-Y-I-N, DJ was already in Jamaica. Uh, the way in which Paul Kirk would repeat the break is the way the selector in Jamaica would keep playing the beginning of the record. And the guy would start rocking, they say, Paul! And the selector would lift the needle off the record and put it back at the beginning. And the guy would rhyme upwards. And the way he used to do it was that the MC would only run the beginning of the record and, and, and the selector had to pull the record up on Sunday. So this is where the breaks actually begin. Who heard what that technique to the Bronx when he immigrated from Jamaica in 1967. He came home with his pops and his mom. His mom was a nurse. His pops was also a mechanic, a mechanic. Who heard became a car mechanic as an apprentice to his father and he was car mechanic this. He uh, went into DJ. He used to call this bitch the memory bowl. He used to say, um, he used to say, jamming with the jammers. But he used to say, rocking with the rockers, jamming with the jammers. Cool. And that's the echo chamber. That's what it was called back in the days, the echo chamber. And he would have a tape deck that would just repeat very quickly. So he would talk to somebody who would still be over there on, in the background. And then he says, Rocking with the rockers, rockers, jamming with the jammers, jammers, cool, hur, 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 hur. and he let the things go out, hur, hur, hur. and he would start dropping the brakes. Say, this is the merry-go-round, the merry-go-round because the music never stopped. He would just keep playing this break over and over again. But the way her did it was he had like two or three turntables, and he would turn one amp down and turn another one up. And that's how we go from one church table to another when he did this very go round mix. Because he blended, it was like a mix, he blended with the turn tables together, three records, and he would just keep the mix going by blending it, but the mix was not sharp. It wasn't like mixes you hear today. It was very choppy, it wasn't rhythmic, it wasn't on time. It was just like the way a record would blend into another. 
the way right would blend into another one. Didn't have no time. He was just blending only the breaks together. We started dancing to those breaks and eventually called ourselves B-Boys and B-Girls. Dancing to the breaks of the cool curve. Now, that's when this hip hop comes into our uh, into manifestation. Hip hop. Capital H, lowercase no I, lowercase no P. Capital H, lowercase no O, lowercase no P. We spell hip hop with a capital H because it is the name of our culture. All cultures are spelled leading with a capital. Hip hop is also a proper noun, it is a specific thing. So you spell it with a capital H when you are spelling it either as one word, the collective consciousness, or as two words, hip hop, it's two H's. This is also the phonetic spelling of hip hop. This is how hip hop comes out of your mouth. Hip hop, that's what it looks like. This is the culture, that's the culture. Whenever you're spelling hip hop and you're referring to the culture of hip hop, you spell it like this. You can spell it like this too. But this is the scholarly approach when you're talking specifically about culture. If you're talking about collective consciousness, things like Well done. Now the real work can get started in the lab. Um, that the vision of hip hop started this way. Anytime you deal with consciousness, immaterial things, non material things, this kind of thing you deal with up here. Here is where this is still immaterial. This is still non material. But you can see hip hop. Now you see it, you break it, I've seen it, you're feeding, I'm teaching, beatbox, and fashion language knowledge, and entrepreneurial skill. You see it now through the culture. Finally, when the culture is moving and in order, it produces problems. All cultures produce problems. Hip hop here is spelled in lowercase, lowercase h, lowercase i, p, dash or space, lowercase h, lowercase o, lowercase p. These are the problems. Mostly black music products and their related activities. Say it again. KRS One got a lot of points. I still let you know that the creativity in you is the creator of you. It is the love unconditionally that you just can't explain. You can't ignore it, can't control it. It ain't no woman, it ain't no man. Once the products are produced, based on where you are, is going to be the excellence of the product. If you don't know about the collective consciousness of hip hop, it will reflect in your product. If you don't know the culture of hip hop, it will reflect. If you do, it will reflect. So far, these are the main terms for looking at hip hop in terms of looking at it like you're going to. Uh, be successful at it. You're going to approach your life as a lifestyle and you're going to teach your life to others. This is the safest and most effective way to approach your life. Now remember, this is the first 20 years of our study. This is the, really I should say the first 40 years, from 73 to 2013. This is the first 40 years of study. Hip hop is 41 years to go. This is just the standard the beginning, the simple stuff. As scholars, you should take this further. There may be another way to spell it, that, it, that we did not discuss today. Uh, feel free to come up with that. Write books, speak and rhyme, put your ideas forward. These three spellings of hip hop gives you the nature of hip hop itself. Remember, hip hop is first our collective way of thinking and being that has no form, has no shape, 
It's not even here to kill the reality. It's just the way we think, our collective consciousness. When our consciousness tries to identify itself, it comes down as great to see it between your DJ and the rest. That's called culture. When your culture gets itself together and tries to express itself, it comes out as CDs and T-shirts and these things. And you can even add another hip hop here, which I'm not going to give it a name, but you, the consumer, the person who buys hip hop or is hip hop, is also another element of hip hop. That's just a more advanced lesson that I'll give it to you now. There is a person who is all of this together, three of these together, which I will just call here the hip hop fuck. That's all. The hip hop book is the collective consciousness, expresses herself as the culture, and produces the products. Never think that hip hop is just this, or just this, or just this. It's all. We're just breaking down the mechanics of it correctly, how you can engage hip hop without uh, uh, depleting your soul, without being a sellout without disrespecting your ancestors, uh, with really getting what you're supposed to get out of the culture. This has nothing to do with a record company or signing with anybody. Don't sign nothing with nobody. Stay independent. This right here will, will give you a little more independence. Meaning, approach the, the culture first as consciousness. I'll go here. When you're writing rhyme, say for instance, Use this one. First, forget about making a record. That's the last thing. First, think about what everybody thinks about. First, try to think about what everybody's thinking about. How can I link with the collective consciousness of this thing called hip hop? Because there, I'm going to write the ill crazy. <laughs> if I can get to a collective consciousness, I know what all females are thinking. I know what all males are thinking. I know what all 18-year-old females are thinking. I know what all 30-year-old men. Like, you just, consciousness. And once you know the consciousness of the people that you're getting ready to perform for, you make classic records. You make classic songs. Because it has nothing to do with who said this before or whatever. You just know, people are sick of police brutality. Woo -woo, that's the sound of the police. That's it. It's collective consciousness. That's not a, a hard record to create. <laughs> That's just this right here. It's now the culture. Once you know what people are thinking, how are you going to express it? How are you going to express it? Everything is not you, MC. You can express that same collective consciousness in your dance, in your graffiti, in your DJ, the choice of records you play. You can get the collective consciousness off by playing a certain group of records that you know your people want to hear. But you got to be able to feel your people. Get into the feeling. You have to be this in order to access the consciousness. Nobody from the outside is ever going to understand. They're never going to get here. This is barred from them. They'll never. They are way down here. They're like way down here. They're looking at the hip hop who's producing the product, who comes from the culture, who's backed up by it. They're never, they, they're just still looking at the hip hop. Well, this guy said ABC, so I'm going to say ABC. They don't even realize the products that they can be creating. They're just looking at the track, but he did the last product, so that's what's going to be for me. No, I just want this, this, and this. Get up to the cult, get up to the consciousness, right? What is everybody thinking? What is everybody doing? What's on everybody's mind? Not my mind. What's on everybody's mind? And not just some people. Everybody's crying about their job. You should do a record about work. A red simple record about I just got fired today. <laughs> you know how big that record, y'all playing. Do you realize how big that record would be? You know what? We shut my mind. Once you know what the collective consciousness of people are, you write according to the consciousness. It's like it's every time. 
I mean, you slept for 20 years. <laughs> this is the culture here. Yeah. And I'm just showing you how to apply this in real life. You become the people, you write them, you DJ them, you break them, when you understand what your audience is really thinking about you. Here, when you become the culture, you start to express this culture. Then you have, a, you have a, a variety of ways to do it. Just because somebody can see their culture doesn't mean you have to. You can break your culture. You can grab and break your culture. You can beat up your culture. You can just wear your culture. There's all kinds of ways to get that consciousness off. We document it now in the book. Finally, the products of creating the last a million different things you can create. But one thing you should understand about hip hop and its products is that the way to create hip hop products, some DVDs, 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 t shirts, this kind of thing, material stuff, is to develop a site that can see the continuity in opposites. Things like this and this. How do these go together? You have to be able to see that. You gotta figure out how this item and this item can go together. Now you create products. You create products. You create a new product that you can figure out how this chair matches with this. Everybody else says, no, the chair's a chair, that's a company. But they don't go together. No, that's a new business model. You have to be able to see the continuity in opposites. But other people think this is the way that is and that's the way that is. That's your perfect opportunity to bring that together and you'll form a new product. This is secret knowledge and it's being recorded. <laughs> this is, uh, at least it's not going to be out for another 10 years. This knowledge is not, it's going to take people too long to figure this out. And you guys should know it today because I'm not telling you something that we've read. I've lived this. This is, you know, I don't even have no team. This is my life, okay? Once you know this, forget Kale, that's one. Forget that. That's all celebrity. That's all the effects. That's 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 the <laughs> That's celebrity. Look at celebrity. That's what this is. Celebrity. Okay. That's what this is. That's the bottom of the pole. And that's the least of it all. That's the effects. <laughs> I know what my people think. That's the secret. I express it through one of these elements. That's the secret. These elements create certain products. That's the secret. These products are getting celebrity, which they take together. This cycle continues. <coughs> and for, for, for. The worst thing you could do is compare yourself, or not that yourself, compare these to themselves. There's no comparison. This is like saying, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. There's no, you don't compare them. This is just who you are. This is called self-organization or cultural organization. I am organizing myself in this way so that I can get the best out of my presentation or up, up, on, up, on, on, in, hip. This is my best presentation, just organizing myself in this way. Now, moving forward with this in mind. When you colonize a people, your interest is not in them. Your interest is in their goods. So when you conquer people, you have two choices. One, you have to commit an act of genocide. Either you wipe them out completely, complete act of genocide, so that you can take over the resources of the land. Or you kill the warrior class of this of these people and you enslave the children and the elderly. This is just war history. Tell a different story about yourself, you go up in value. Or tell a different story about yourself and you can go down in value. What stories are you saying? So it says, what do you do? 
yo, listen, I'm the greatest MC out here. I don't know about the rest of these dudes, but I'm the dopest dude out here. Now, if you really want to see me, what you need to do is book me. Here's my website, here's my deal, here's what it is. I'm going to be the greatest. I am the greatest. Matter of fact, I'm... We call that ego. We call that overconfident. We call that full of yourself. We call that everything that it's not. Change the story about yourself and your value goes up. Here's a real history with hip hop's consciousness. Two dudes are standing on the corner. Two dudes are standing, both of them are broke, got nothing. Both of them are broke, got nothing, they're standing on the corner. Can't hey, one look up off the top. I put rappers down like that Nike sign. You gotta overstand that Nike sign. Put the camera down so they can feel my rhyme. One dude turns to the other dude and goes, I'll keep on bringing and singing into your ears. It's raining and singing, gleaming and dreaming, true and singing with meaning. The guy turns to him and goes, That was black. you are. Both together, bro, no money, nothing. No celebrity, nothing. One guy says, I'll keep on bringing and singing the two that is is ringing. This guy has the power to either say, you're garbage, and they both remain broke. Because now he's garbage, so what are you sitting next to? <laughs> the guy says, drive again, here's the other part. Yo, that was hot. Yo, dude, that was the greatest drive ever. Yo, do it again, man. Word? Yo, I keep on bringing it and singing and doing your ears is ringing. Yo, that was the greatest drive. Yo, man, that was, yo, you really good. Now, that one Acknowledge that this dude is good. One person acknowledges another person. Value goes. This is how we did it. Nobody says this because they wasn't there. None of the books, none of the authors, they weren't there. I remember when we were sitting around broke with nothing. My man is the one that said. Yo, your mom's dope. And when he said that, I stood up. Because he said, now we both walking down the street with value. What's the value? He thinks I'm great. Because he says I'm great, I'm great. Because I'm not saying I'm great. He says I'm great. So I got an objective opinion from a subjective process. He's still nothing. But if he disses me, downs me, doesn't recognize me, we both stay poor. The minute he says, yo, you're the greatest, you good, you sound great, it don't even matter if another person thinks it. Nah, you are already it. great, as your man says. Say it, because I'm going to say it. This is him. The American government didn't want to give us nothing. No, my whole generation was labeled X. The whole thing, X, Generation X. We don't even know y'all. They don't give us nothing. What did we do? We said, no, you not. No, 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 you not. No, you not. No, you not. No, you not. That's what they're about thinking we did. We took the we looked at each other and said, yo, you beautiful. Nah, man, you beautiful. Yo, you smart. Nah, man, you smart. Oh, man, you beautiful. And we started our own little deal, complimenting each other, complimenting each other. A simple thing like this, simple, just, yo, I like that. I think you really good. Boom. The person now, not self-esteem, not that, real value. Let me even go further. So two people are standing there. Bro. One guy picks a rock. The other person acknowledges the rock. 
two people uh, have value. This person has value because he's standing next to somebody with talent. And this person's talent has just been verified by the person he's standing next to. Now the two of y'all walk into the bank. Hey, check this out. My man right here got the illest rhyme. Yo, spit your rhyme. I'll keep on bringing in and saying in the two days it's ready. Yo, you heard that? Talking to the bank officer. You heard that? That's hot, ain't it? And the bank officer don't know. Bank officer don't know what's hot, what's not, what's good, what's bad, what's nothing. He has to take your word for it. I love working with corporate America. I do. I do. This is so stupid. At the end of the day, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know what's good, what's bad, what's nothing. So if you just say, yo, he's the one, right? Yo, <laughs> <laughs> the person has to agree because they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're not here. You're not here. This is the game 101. This is hustle 101. This is it right here. If Barack Obama came here today, President Barack Obama stepped in today, had a piece of paper in his hand, and just left it up here like this, and walked out. Everybody was trying to get that piece of paper. Why? Why is his? Why does the, does the paper go up in the blue? It's the person holding the paper, you believe in their value. Yeah. And why do you believe it? Because they told a story. A story, not the truth, not their biography. They told a story about themselves, which gave them value. When they touch anything now, it has value. This is what hip hop was. This is what this hip hop was before came to this point. It was first, I'm hip hop. So the mainstream says, Rick Jeans are out of the grow out. Hip hop said, No, Rick Jeans is not in the flesh. When I was growing up in the 70s, if you ripped your jeans, they had patches. You have iron on patches. Mm -hmm. You rip your jeans. Oh no, I'm not going to rip jeans. You put patches on them. And you iron the patches on them. Over the rip jeans. Hip hop came out and said, we ain't getting the color patches. We're going to rip this here, we're going to rip it here, here, and here. That's hip hop. We did that first. Everybody else was going to design the jeans. We took the cheap jeans, leave. <laughs> and leave off, rip them off, wear them back. We was out like this. But what did the mainstream say? Well, that's work values. The rags we used to get, the hip hop used to put in their heads in the 90s. These rags, they cost 25 cents for 12. Forty cents. Now you can't get one of them for under $12. They sell them the same rags, those same mechanics rags that you see grips and buzzes. Everybody wearing the same rags. Those rags used to cost 25 cents for 12. <laughs> The minute the crib start wearing a few rappers in the video start wearing them, the same rags that was put up went up 15, 20, 30 dollars. People start putting stuff on $50 for a brand. Yes. Means to know it's a form of intelligence. To be hip is to be update and relevant. Hop is a form of movement. You can't just observe a hop. You gotta hop up and do it. Your opinion doesn't matter when you want money. I'll say it again. Your opinion don't matter if you want money. If you want money, you got to be right here. I know what everybody's thinking. And I know what everybody ain't thinking. This bank officer is not hip hop. So all I got to do is walk in with two or three people who are. And let us say about one person how great this person really is. And you won't know. You don't know how great you That's why you have so many artists on the radio today that have no talent. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's, it's true. They have no talent. They're not real to anything they do. But what they know is what I just told you. 
You don't have to have talent to be on the radio. You ain't got to have no talent. What is that, hip hop? Anymore. Yes. yes. That's hip hop? No. Not having not. no damn talent? It's not this. It's, just... it's not this. No, it's not. It's not the culture. No, it's not. I don't want to go down. I'm talking about this money. I'm talking about this money. So, that's it. I'm just talking about the money. I know where you at. Don't hurt me now. You're killing me. I'm going to to you. You stay up here with the consciousness. You stay here with the culture. See, this reward, this is where it all begins. But wait a minute. We do exist here. Hip hop. Is the largest, the biggest seller. Y'all don't know this. Do you realize that in the music industry, hip hop is the largest producer of CDs out of all the music in the world. Not just sellable, I mean the plastics companies and the DVD manufacturers print. More print about 70%, 70, like it was more than half actually. I would be modest and say 60% of all CD sales. Like, I'm not talking about uh, you already printed your music. No, no, you bought these CDs to sell your music. So from the manufacturer, the, the, the cult, the music genre that is selling or buying the most CDs in the world is hip hop. What you gotta do is the minute you get the mic in your hand, the crowd sees that you got the mic in your hand, boom, mic in your hand, go right in on it. Hey, right now the camera's looking right in my face. I'm doing it like this, like I'm floating in space. I'm live off the top of my head. This is what I do all day. I'm alive and not dead. It's freestyle. My skills is insane. I go off the top like JFK's brain. See, you saw that, didn't you? No talent, no culture, no principles. Hip hop is dead to me. It's what? Yes, it is. But this hip hop runs the mainstream. Runs it. Now you have to accept that. No. Oh, okay. No, you don't. No, you don't. You never have to accept anyone. But you have to be aware of where your culture is. Uh, okay. I'm aware. Be aware. Sorry. Sorry. But it's hard, though. I'm not going to front on that. This is what gives me the ability to look at me even though I'm sure it's a small person out there. This gives me the ability to look at Mickey and say, no, that's a good MC. Why? Because I don't accept the nature of this. She may have started me, maybe. You don't know who she is, what game she But her image at least starts. In the realm of product. I'm trying to sell the most amount of CDs in the most, in the way that they can sell anything. I'm trying to just move in and do my product. Now, her culture is either her consciousness is a lot. But her consciousness is a lot. As a matter of fact, there is a no thing. Not culture, just the product of the culture. Just and in some cases, in some cases, this hip hop here is being created by other cultures. Like, for instance, other cultures bring it to hip hop. They're very large. And, you know, uh, and I said they're, they're, they're a good one. They're pretty large. Other cultures bring into hip hop what they're really suffering from themselves, and they're now calling it hip hop. But it's not really hip hop. It's some other culture with its own problems. You don't get into hip hop just because somebody rapped. You say, oh, they hip hop, and they're bringing it in. There is that as well. Here as well. And this is important to point out. This is important to point out. Uh, I gotta point this out. Because a lot of us who do exist up here, who do have some kind of principle, we do forget this thing. And it would be great if a sister like yourself operated here with this consciousness. It, it would be great. Yeah. But first, 
and, I'm, and before you even try to say anything, that's hard to do. Okay, one of the reasons I'm not sorry is this is that sorry. Let me say that at the top. I'm a lyric stylist, I'm not giving my opinion here yet. I'm not giving my opinion. I'm just covering the hip hop, it's nature as it stands to us today. We are here. We do put our rap on. We do put our CDs. We do have DVDs and t shirts. We have all of this. But that world, this world doesn't have peace, virtue, any loyalty. The glory is for fun. That's it. That's it. And it's here that we step out and talk to God. It's at this level that you lose your consciousness and say to God. I stay here and I suffer for it. Okay? That's the first part you gotta understand. You just have this whole thing. You gotta sort of live this understanding. Where if you're going to stay in your collective consciousness, you're not going to be called for the big tour. You're not going to be on MTV. There's no gravity coming from you. There's no mainstream accolades. But you got to be cool with that. You know, and here's the funny thing. I say this all this time. When I tell you about sounds, but this is only a matter of opinion, really. Because I, at times, not only was I here, like saying, uh, you know, I said a million records. Uh, 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 I got next. 1987, 1997, I got next. So a million copies. Okay, I was here. Now, I am able to come down to this level. But the people here can't come up to this level. The gods can come down, but the average humans can't go up. This is the So I come down, and when I come down, I suffer down here. I suffer down here. I do. I am not quite. I don't like being down. But every once in a while, I do have to come down here. And here's why. It's usually not for myself. This is just another piece, small little piece. It's not for me. Most of the time it's for my family. Or for other people that I may respect or have some loyalty to some admiration. That's the only thing. My being never says I need to be that with people. No. My being never says that. But the God will know what the kid is. But you are for to be done uh, here material, to be in this world. I mean, the truth is, you can't let us be cool on without knowing the truth. You got to be down here to get the truth away. I want this time. So, let's stop playing games. Let's stop playing games. Test and see if it's true. Most spiritual people never test their spiritual ability. They live in a universal world, but never ask the universe for anything. <laughs> Never ask me for anything. It's just lived there. The universe is just there. You know, the universe is like a mirror. So it's like if you stand in the universe, stand <laughs> You know, the minute you go up, the universe instantly is going up. It's the second, it's like a mirror. Anything you do in the mirror is instant. Same thing with the universe. Anything you do in the universe is instantly doing it to you. So, here, I can be here all day, but the people that surround me, that's what self sacrifice that I'm all down. I'm not a Christian. There's a bunch of Christians. You know, cross is African. Cross, constant reminder of self sacrifice. The cross. You gotta be in the cross. That's when you jump down here. Down here, all the way down to here. This is painful here. What you gotta do to maintain soul memory? This is painful. But if you come from up here, you have a place to escape to. You even have protection there. Because you're never going to go past the collective consciousness of your people. That's your virtue. This is where you live. So the minute they start talking about, listen, we have a thong you need you to put on. 
Because the divine wouldn't be divine if the creator were to control your mind and take away your free will and your choices. That is why you are being judged right now by yourself dealing with your heart in the shit that you do in the circle of life. What goes around comes around. It's going to come back around on you. And what you do, if it's dirty to someone just like you because they breathe like you, they bleed like you, they live like you, and they die like you. So just know that the truth is the truth, and it's in you for it to come out of it. What it means to be a hip-hop scholar, to be at all time, to be able to be subjective with your culture, not objective with your culture. To be able to not think like a colonizer, don't try to kill the information, capture the information, this kind of thing, try to be. Yep, no, nah, that's what most people do on here. Try to kill the information because they like killing every fucking thing. This is what the scholarship is all about. Can't get along in the motherfucking game. How the fuck you think you can get along in life? Don't be nothing but little stupid ass kids and stupid ass adults trying to be kids again. Let me help you out. If a kid do it and it's stupid, if you are an adult and you do it, it's stupid. It don't make no fucking sense. You are a puppet to the fucking game. The game tell you to fly upside down, you fly upside down. The game tell you to steal cars, you steal cars. 
The game tell you to kill each other, you kill each other. The game say headshots, you jump and go do headshots. See, you ain't nothing but a motherfucking puppet for the fucking game. Because you're a stupid little kid brain. Because see, a conscious thinking adult or realize, hey, it's just a game. I ain't gonna waste my time doing no kid bullshit. Truth is the truth. It is what it is. And I say it so you can know you. Know that it's all on you. Cause when you think about it, you was taught to believe in Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy. And then you was taught, before you was taught that, you was taught to get on your knees and say, Our Father who art in heaven. Come on, people. If y'all don't see the holes in the Swiss cheese that y'all been eating that's bad, I used to eat it too. It is what it is. I used to do basically the same things that you do. Believe in the same bullshit. Until now that I know the truth is the truth. They were lying about a lot of shit. But they never wanted you to know who the creator is within you. That's why they were giving you this God and this Jesus bullshit. So you can be bullshitted to the point where you believe in, in God is in the sky and it's some white God and Jesus coming back to save you and this shit. The truth is. There's only the creator in you for you to be a creator too. Period. We all live in the circle of life created by one divine creator in this. All the different gods were created by man to confuse you. Because I'll say it to you just like the truth is. Just that the truth. And it's flowing through me like the water do. The creator told me to tell you. Think about the truth being in you and all you have to do is stand on the truth because you don't die until you give up on you and any other thing that happens to you for you to die is cause and or effect. I say it again. It's cause and the effect. The shit that you did caused the effect to your demise of you dying. Period. If you're eating bad, you will die bad. If you're doing bad, you're going to get bad. Because it's all about being true to the only divine part within you. Being the whole part of being alive is the heart beat of the divine creator which in the heart beat of the divine creator which is inside oh yeah sometimes you're gonna get tongue tied cuz I'm human people I'm human I'm human with knowing a divine creator within me to make me, not make me, I'll rephrase that, to allow me to be me and to know that the love unconditionally within me is from the divine creator of me. <laughs> you don't stop the will of the divine creator until you start the hate. Some of y'all can relate. Some of y'all want the truth. Some of y'all know the truth. But some of y'all just stuck on stupid and don't want to be straight. Because you know that straight going to show that you've been stupid for a long time. And a lot of people just don't want to lay up there and deal with the divine on the principles of reciprocity, empathy. It's all in you. It's all the divine creator of all that has been created and will be created after we fuck up this shit too. How you think that the other planets became dead? They was alive like this one too until we killed them. 
Because when you look at shit, we are like a disease on this planet too. And I gotta say we. Because I can't say me. Because I already know you. You and I are the same one. Divine creator of all that will and shall be created too. We just in rental suits, baby. We just in a rental suit that the creator allowed us to use. But once you leave this rental suit, you're only free for a short period of time. And then you're back in the circle of life in a different form. The truth is the truth. I was giving life back to be in the same form again before my left form disappeared. That's how I can be able to give you the truth and say that, hey, I'm here. I can consider myself what you can consider a prime example. Or the creator's greatest creation of all. I'm here thinking. And when I'm saying I'm here thinking, I'm here thinking all type of type of ways of thinking. Like thinking the way it's felt, I don't know, but thinking the creator love unconditionally for what it feels like. And to know that is there. And to know that I will never be alone. When it comes down to me, but when it comes to my better half, hey, we will see. Because no human living here is supposed to be alone. Because that is the reason why the Creator created all that there is before creating us to be in. I wouldn't tell y'all no wrong. Because I'm too right. Too right to know we're straight. To say that there's four rights to get to straight if you don't know what straight straight is. Like there's your right hand, there's that's right, there's that's right by law. And then there's that's right by law. And it could be wrong because man is mostly wrong when he wants some shit to be in law. But I'm going to tell you what the truth of the matter is that matter is right to what the rights really are to tell you what the truth really is. And it all burrowed down to a saying. Here today, gone tomorrow. Bullshit ass saying. Here today, gone today. Because nobody's promised tomorrow. You got to finish today. So, what really matters is what are you doing right now? To change some bullshit around that you know it's bullshit. A lot of y'all just sit there and look at the bullshit and be like, oh well. But you got to realize this. All the bullshit that you see that you don't do about seeing the bullshit. When ball rolls around, it's going to roll clean over you with the same old bullshit that you had a chance to say something about to stop the shit. Before the shit came back around to get you on the shit that you should have said something the first time when you saw the shit. Don't be a... Uh, I couldn't say a bitch because anything dealing with the female's anatomy is stronger than a man's dick, period. Because when you sit there, the female is what you are inside of heaven, which is the womb before you come to this type of hell. Well, the lies start as soon as you get here because think about it. Why is it your birthday when you were just born? Born an empty glass waiting for some truth. But the truth is we always lied to. But then you look at it. Our mamas did something beautiful for us. Because the truth is the truth. Our mamas gave us her birthday. As a consolation prize to you. Because you wasn't born to them. Or you. You were born to whatever state. Gave your mama. And if you have a dad that was there, your mom and your dad, a birth certificate and a social security card for you. Why I do what I do on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter? Because sooner or later, y'all going to get it. I'm just doing 
what I want to. This ain't something that I got to. This is something that I feel from the creator of me that loves me unconditionally for me to know to do. The truth is just that, the truth, when you know it. You can't do nothing but live for it. That's why I love you more than you love you. Because I know the truth and you don't. And by me not by me knowing that you don't know the truth and I do know the truth, but I don't like being that one. But I am as straight as an arrow shot at a target, knowing it's gonna hit in the middle. I am as sharp as a razor that can cut a hair particle down the middle to say that I can't walk at all. Been in the wheelchair since ninety eight, so I can tell y'all I died four times to know that the divine that's always on your mind, working on time, throughout your body, dealing with your soul. Because I'll say to any of you so-called believers of this God and Jesus bullshit, do you actually think the Creator will create a pit of fire for you to suffer in. Hell is a state of mindset for those of you who's doing that shit. The hell you gonna be in can be just for you because the Creator love unconditionally loves you unconditionally. Do you understand? Understand? Do you get what that means? Do you get the truth? That's why. You're being judged by your heart. Who you think is judging you by your heart? Not the creator of you. Because that's in you. So when you think of the shit that you do. When it's time for you to be judged by your heart. You judge you. So the hell you put you in. You will put you there. And know the truth is that you belong there. Because the creator will never do nothing to hurt you. You can do things to hurt you, and other people can do you too. I'm just telling you the truth. I guarantee it make more sense than anything was ever told to you, simply because everything that I say will make sense because you can make something out of the things that I say because I say it in the lame terms for the dumbest person to get what I'm saying to know that it's the truth. Because I don't talk to y'all ass no more because y'all ass is full of shit. And that's what it's supposed to be, though. But it's too far full of bullshit, you know? So all I can do is tell you the truth for you to know it for yourself. But it is what it is. You're going to believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. And the truth is just that, the truth. And yes, I'm using some strong language. Why? Because I'm a strong man. And right now... The way that the shit has been twisted all up, and I know what the truth is, I'm a little bit irritated by how they did it. And what I mean by I'm a little irritated by how they did it, it's like they lied with an honest face. Because they used all these different lying ass images and then throw it in our face. I mean, taught it to us in school. So that's why I'm so happy that the divine creator love unconditionally. The feeling didn't allow me to learn how to read or write to not know the truth. Because if I could read or write, I would be in the same fucking predicament that you are. Not believing the truth when the truth is right there in front of you because you've been indoctrinated into the lie so deeply you can't get it when the truth is right there for you so i see like the creator is giving it to me to give to you people lie numbers don't if you look at the numbers they gonna all add up to, to them lying to you from day fucking one because it's your born day it's your mama birthday you didn't do shit to deserve a day. Period. Think about it. Why was the glory of the only conscious thinking 
human here on earth taken away from her at birth and given to some God in heaven. Why? It's time to start thinking for yourself to know the truth is in you to know. Nobody else will know the truth until you know from your heart because your heart going to tell you the truth because once you get the truth, your heart going to skip a beat because the truth is just this. The creativity in you is the creator of you. It's the light that comes on. It's the lightning strike before the smoke or fire. It's that unconditional feeling of love that you just can't explain. It's the egg before the chicken. It's the cocoon before the butterfly. It's the only true reason why you go. Because the love of you unconditionally, the feeling, is a feeling that wills one way. And one way is to go each and every day for you to love never hate but you stop the will of the creator when you stop the unconditional love of the creator loving you when you stop that love to start to hate someone like you that's you hating you being a creator I'm just giving it to you like it's being given to me so you can know Fuck all this believe shit like Santa Claus, East Bud, and Tooth Fairy. It's time for us to come together and know that together we stand, divided, we fall. The people is the one that created it all. When you look at it, there's a certain amount of people slaving us around like sheep or cattle. I'm just saying, people, we are the people that make the world go round while we allow these rich sons of bitches to put us in the ground. Like I was saying before, I was really interrupted by some person that don't like the truth because they love to play Grand Theft Auto online, be stupid, a puppet, do as the gang say do because they stupid, because they was taught to be stupid. And nine times out of ten, they're little kids that shouldn't be on the game anyway because their mom and their dad don't give a fuck about them if they got a dad. Nine times out of ten, they just got a mama. And that's the reason why they got the game. It is what it is because if I was somebody's mother or father. I wouldn't allow my kid to be on this game because their little mind is not developed enough to comprehend exactly what's going on in the game. To know it's a game. I'm just saying. They're some very impressionable little fucking minds. A lot of people saying, oh, their minds are so developed now. They can, man, fuck all that bullshit. A kid got to go through some shit to know some shit. Or they going to believe the shit that's been taught to them to believe in. Like the Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy. It is what it is. But it should never get scary. Because you should never fear shit. Simply because fear is false evidence appearing real. Why do you fear that? I guarantee you don't know some facts that you don't know. Why you play this game so much and love it so, and you do so much killing in this shit? I told you, just a whole bunch of little stupid kids that mama bought in the game because they was bitching and shit, but I wouldn't have bought them shit because I'll say it again. You should not be on this game if you couldn't buy this game for yourself and pay for the fucking internet. You shouldn't be on here. If your mama had to buy this game for you, if your daddy had to buy this game for you, or uh, anybody had to buy this game for you, you were not a responsible person enough to buy this shit for your motherfucking self, your monkey ass should not be on this game playing this motherfucking game. Period. Yep, leave. If you fit, if the shoe fit where? Top and bottom line. 
if you one of the stupid people that come on this game and do the stupid shit in the game, like the game tell you to do, be stupid, it is what it is. You playing the game exactly the way that they telling you to play the game. And if you want to play the game, being a nasty person that's sneaking up, killing people, it is what it is. You're a nasty person that doing what they want to do in the game. Get the fuck off the fucking session then, dude. <laughs> so like I said, before I was rudely interrupted by that dude that don't want to hear the truth about how stupid he is about being programmed to do everything that the people programmed him to do in the game. When they say, drive your car backwards, stay in a hurry to get the car to go backwards. Fly the airplane upside down. They flying the airplane upside down. Y'all ain't nothing but a bunch of motherfucking puppets to the fucking game, you dumb bastards. <laughs> but like I said again, you don't mind channel the truth is the truth, period. You fuck all the bullshit. And these little kids on this game is the bullshit that I talk about. And little young adults, the ones that's supposed to be on a game that says M4 mature audience only y'all shouldn't be on it neither because y'all their minds about the same size as the little kids mind because you want to be a kid again you're an adult now yeah you're going back to being a little kid because the game telling you to go back to be a little kid so you don't be a responsible adult you sit on here and you play with these little kids and don't say shit to these little kids because you're not a responsible adult. You're a fucking kid to damn self. Say bright, say bright, shut up before I make you disappear. I ain't come, I ain't come on my, on my apartment and make you disappear. I can make you disappear without coming out of my apartment. I don't have to tell you what I'm gonna do. I guarantee you disappear. Huh? Yeah, you can take a picture of my game or tag and report me all you want. All I'm telling you exactly what I'm going to do you. And like I said again, I'm going to make you disappear. It don't matter how I do it. When you disappear and your account disappear with you, it is what it is. It just happened to you, period. I know. Mm-hmm. How you been? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, shut up, old, old rat. You the old rat. Get your, get your rat ass over here, you rat. He's a rat. Yeah, I right, shut up, rat. Rat, 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 rat. Shut up, 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 rat. Welcome, welcome to my show, the truth, the truth, period. Fuck all the bullshit. You are the bullshit that I talk about, dog, on the real, bro. 
Bro, what the fuck am I gonna come out of my apartment for? You beneath me, man. You need to just shut the fuck up and just ride around the city. Why you wanna kill me? I guess you, 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 oh, come on, dog. You don't, you don't want none of my problems, don't worry. Man, you, you, you running around with, <laughs> with checkerboards on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. Don't think about that. Think, think, think about it. Think about it, dog. On the real, on, on the real, dog. You, you don't even much know what's going on in the game. On the real, you don't. When I told you I can make you disappear, when I told you I can make you disappear, I can make you disappear, dog. Like I said again, with glasses, and you're right. Mm-hmm. All that. I see. I see you doing. I see you doing all that flipping. I see you doing all that flipping. I see you doing all that flipping. I see you doing all that flipping with them damn colors on, with a bag on the back, and you looking all retarded with a hat to match. You look just like a little stupid kid. You look like a little stupid kid. You look like a little stupid kid. You a stupid little kid. You sitting in front. You sitting in front. You sitting in front of my house worrying about what I'm doing. You sitting in front of my house worrying about what I'm doing. You stupid. You the stupid one. You the one that's sitting outside my house. Well, they go go do something. Go do a mission or something, dog. Why are you outside? Why? Why, bro? Why? Give me a good reason why. I know you want to kill me because I'm telling you the truth. You ain't shit. And you know that. You ain't shit. I didn't stutter. You're not shit. Because if you was, look, look, because if you was, if you was shit, you'd be doing shit. You heard me? If you was shit, you would be doing shit. Yeah, I say I ain't. I say it just for you because you ain't shit. I say it again. You ain't shit, you garbage. You're garbage outside doing flips and shit. You're looking stupid on my channel, bro, on the real. If I was you, I would click off. Uh-huh. I don't. But I'm, I'm watching you on it right now. Go to YouTube. <laughs> A cold day for you. <laughs> Mr. Glasses. Go on Mr. Glasses 48, and you're going to see yourself doing fucking flips. I'm like a little stupid-ass fool. Looking like a little monk. Mr. Glasses, dog. Mr. Miss M the M R period G L A S S E S forty eight. Don't put it together. You don't have to put it together. And you're gonna see me looking dead at you. With them sand glasses on, looking just like the character. Huh? I ain't supposed to be, I ain't supposed to be pretty. I ain't supposed to be pretty or handsome to no dude. You heard me? I ain't supposed to be pretty or handsome to no another dude. So what are you trying to judge a man for, bro? Now that's gay. Now that's gay. Heard me? That's gay for you to be judging a man about him ugly. What the fuck is wrong with you, dog? I, just, I thought you just said you were an adult, dog. Adults don't judge other adults. Mm-hmm. I know you should feel sorry for me. You should feel sorry for yourself. Go over to it. Why? First of all, first of all, this game was this game wasn't created for you. It was created for you to be stupid on. I would, but I look, I'm not like I don't do the things that you do to have all the prescribers. Uh, assholes, assholes follow assholes. You heard me? Assholes follow assholes. So they got a whole bunch of assholes that follow you. And I guarantee you, all you do on the game is kill other people. That's all you do on the game is kill other people. And, and that's all you do is kill other people, right or wrong. Heard me? Right or wrong. That's all you do is kill other people, right or wrong. Right or wrong. Tell the truth, 
yourself, dog. You ain't nothing but a piece of shit. All you do is kill people all day. You are a piece of shit, bro. On the real. Why now? Why now? Why you gonna put somebody mom in the shit, dog? See that go to show you ain't nothing but a kid, bro. You nothing but a kid. You got the kid mentality, bro. That's what kids do. You see, that's what kids do. Put somebody mom in shit, bro. Grown up don't do that. This is a grown up game, bro. This ain't for no fucking kids like you, bro. On the real, you need to go play Pokemon or something like that, there. You need to go play Pokemon or something like that, there, dog. On the real. I mean, you, how long are you gonna sit out there? How long are you gonna sit out there? Huh? What, now, why I gotta be a nigga now? Hey, now hold on, hold on. Now, now you're getting indirect on the real. I'm black, that makes me a nigga. That makes me a nigga because I'm black. I'm serious, bro. You, you, better, you better move from, from my girlfriend's house because my girlfriend will come outside and kill you. I'm serious. I'm telling you, no, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to keep her from coming outside and killing you because it wouldn't be right for you. No, I, I, I don't want her to kill you, bro, so you need to go about your business, bro, on the real. She keep on, she keep on saying, she keep on saying, you keep talking shit, she gonna come outside and shoot you. But I'm, I'm saying, oh, you change your clothes, you change, you change, you change your clothes. <laughs> Get from in front of my house, bro, I'm real. Hey, I'm, I'm watching your character because I can't come outside till you get from in front of my motherfucking house. Uh, you should. You, I'm looking at you. I'm gonna know. I'm gonna know when you're away from my house, and then I'm gonna come outside. All right, coming outside now. Because you ate, hey, hey, you, I had to come back inside. I just saw what you did. You just can't turn the corner. What am I come outside for? And, 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 no. I see you got, okay, no. Call I'm call the police on you. I'm call <laughs> I keep trying to tell you, dog. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be handsome, dog, or real. I know you're still outside my house somewhere. I'm not coming outside till you click. Either you're going to click off, and then I'm going to come outside. Why? Why Why did you keep doing that, though? Why do you want me to come outside, bro? Why you want to kill me, bro? I sound like a person that's you should kill. And why is that? Why I sound like a person you should kill? 
I keep trying to tell you, dog. <laughs> man, man, is, man is, <laughs> you keep saying I'm ugly. That's 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 how that's the mentality of a kid, bro. That's how I know you're a kid, dog. <laughs> Why? Bro, I already know one thing about you. You ain't got no patience. You ain't gonna wait this out. I already know you ain't got no patience. You ain't gonna wait this out. You ain't got no patience to wait it out. No, you won't. I see you sitting out there. You wouldn't. You, you don't have the patience. You don't. Told you, look. <laughs> now get out, get back. I did, I did that just for you. Get out of my session. Look, I'm walking to you. Get out of my session. Look, look. You don't. You, look, you're missing. Look, and you're missing. Boy, you trash, boy. There you go. You trash, bro. You trash, bro. You trash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna have fun with you, making you do what I want you to do. Look, 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 look. You're missing. Come on, now you got to get better than that. Come on, dog. Look at you. You look. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a walking talking. Want me to stand still for you? There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. I told you I would make you. I would make you look just like I want you to look. Stupid. Come on, stupid. Come get a free meal, stupid. Come on, stupid. Come on, stupid. Bro, I can do that because this is my girl character. It's just showing exactly how stupid you are. It's just showing how stupid you are. How stupid you are, because like I told you, why you just killed yourself, partner? I can do you whatever I want you, whatever I want. You see? Because you got to kill yourself to bounce around on the board. You got to kill yourself to bounce around on the board. I don't gotta kill myself to bounce around the board. You gotta kill yourself to bounce around on the board. You gotta kill yourself to bounce around on the board. Why are you killing yourself? So you can so, so you can move around? Yeah, I'm coming back outside. I just wanna show you something. Coming back outside again. Boy, you a garbage can, Harry, boy. I was walking with no guns out of nothing, and you shooting all them times it was missing, you garbage ass. Shut your garbage ass up. Trash ass. Why? My girl will beat you up with her hands. Look, I got to put out no gun on you. Got to no, put out no gun on you. She ain't going to fight you with her hands either. Now, come, come shoot her. Look, she walking up the street. Look, 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 I'm moving around again, moving target. Mm, mm, mm. Now shoot me. Now shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Man, yeah, what? Man, I, I can have fun with you, dog. I can have fun with you, bro, because you stupid. <laughs> you stupid. I, I can just have fun with you because you stupid. You stupid, dude. You stupid, dude. <laughs> Get out of my session. <laughs> I know you go. I made you look stupid enough for you to leave. So, like I said, get out of my session. Huh? Why do what? 
Because you are stupid. If you if you wasn't stupid, I wouldn't make you look stupid. On the real. Because you stupid. Oh, you sound like you're crying. Don't cry on me. Oh, somebody came in and left? I thought there was somebody coming to help you. I thought they were coming to help you. Shut your garbage ass up. Get, your, get out of my session. You ain't got you ain't got you ain't got the patience to stay in here, son. Get out of my session. Alright. See you. Okay. I can, I can pro, I can, like I said, I can make you look stupid. Go join your friends. Go join your friends. Go join your friends. Man, I, I can get you out that car just this fast. Look, I can get you out that car just that fast. Look, look, look. I can get you out that car just this fast. Look, look. This how fast I can get you out that car. Look. Why this? See how fast you got that car? Stop that car right here. Now I want to see how far you can go. You have fun. Oh, I know. Oh, 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 I don't like. I don't like no flipping in my shit. None of that flipping shit. Get out. None of that. None of that. None of that flipping in my shit. Keep watching. Keep watching. Yeah, that, that, like I say again. I'll I make you do what I want you to do. I'm, I'm, I'm in the street now. I'm in the street now. Watching you for what? You ain't in front of my house no more. I don't think. I'm watching my character. I'm watching you for. Oh, so you watching? You, so you must be watching both of my channels then. Oh, so if you watch, if you watching that one, let me, let me help you out then. My good character.
See, and I ain't shoot at you one not one time. I could have killed you. You sound crazy. I can do, I can do whatever I want to you. What they call? Oh, you pitiful. You got your gun out and everything. And you think, come on, dog. You got to hit me, bro. Yeah, but I ain't dying now, time. Now the police gonna get you. Give me the police, man. I guarantee you got more killing yourself times than you got anything dealing with the game. Because that's how you gotta cheat to get around and get to people instead of just going straight up on the people. You trash. You're trash. You're, you're trash. You gotta live there and blow yourself up to move around on the board to kill people. You trash. Shut your trash ass up. You rat you rat you rather kill yourself than call the fucking police off. Shut your trash ass up, you trash dog. Get your trash ass out of here, trash can. Get out your trash can, Harry. Go about your business, trash can, Harry. All I see, bro, is get out of my session, please. Like I said, get out of my session. Okay, you thought I was going to kill you. I'll never kill you, dog. That ain't how I do nothing. Man, I can kill you anytime I want to, dog. So just leave from. All I say, huh? That's a good shot to scream shot with. I say that's a good shot to screen shot with. If you got one, that's what you said, huh? You got what you said, huh? And. I don't know. What I gotta go look at your YouTube for? I got my own to look at. Cause I don't need no viewers, dog. I view my own shit. I'm cool with that. I know my shit ain't bullshit. I know my shit ain't bullshit. Your shit is straight up bullshit. You got bullshit people that like your shit. You know? I, I, I wouldn't want you to be no fan. You need to be a fan of yourself, man. And do better things with yourself, man. I, I see I see what type of fan you are. You you run you run around with a checkerboard, you run around with a checkerboard shirt on, <laughs> with a checkerboard hat, with a book bag on the back. Like I said again, how much how much money you got, bro? I'm just saying. Nine times I tell you, you done glitched every quarter that you got and you're happy with it because you done cheated to get it. No, I, I don't want to know. I was just saying that being sarcastic, dog. <laughs> That's all you got? You'll be all right. Oh, boy, don't tell me you're not, you're not to pronounce that. <laughs> now I can I can I can say I can say to you, I can say to you, but I can say to you honestly. Look, I can say to you honestly, dog. I can't read or write, but I know numbers, dog. I didn't learn that in school. I can't read or write, but I'm just being honest with you. I already see what you can't do. You can't do a lot of things. No, 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 partner. Put like it's here. Technology. When I do my 
You think I'm bullshitting with you. You can go to my page and I talk about that a lot. You dog, 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 dog. That's just it. You assuming by how properly I talk to you. No, I can't do now one of those things. But I died enough time to know the truth. I know you. I know you. I know you're digging yourself in, just running around doing nothing. This is I see you news. Weasel news. Watching this weasel make news, acting a fool on my channel, Grand Theft Auto. Now, what did that mule do for you? You don't even you don't even much know. That mule don't that mule don't do nothing but give you negative vibrations. Fool. <laughs> like I say again, I'm telling you what you are. You the fool. <coughs> I'm telling you, don't come back by my apartment. You got sticky bonds everywhere. I, and I appreciate that, Jeff. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Go about your business. you think right now you've been you've been analyzed <laughs> yeah that's what you think that was you think You still, you still, you, 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 you watching, you, you watching the channel? All right. Well, we, we, one thing is this. Before you, before you can kick, before you can kick me, I'm already kicking you with both of my characters, partner. And so <laughs> you can cancel Christmas on yourself. Hey, I know, but I'm kicking you though, <laughs> cause I already told you I was sending you about your business. Yeah, yeah, you can't let. I'm gonna show you how much you can let me know. I can't much hear you no more. Show you how, how, how I work.
ficava meio ad. Get me on that. That dude gone. It had to be him. Yep. My girl, I, why would my girl character ever kick me? So the daddy, nice seeing you. Another session to be in. So, we're gonna come in somebody else's session and fuck with D doing up. Not the D, buddy. Mm-hmm. 